For just a couple of years, tablets have turned from luxury and devices for fun into almost advisable piece of equipment for so many users worldwide. Needed for work or just to transform the usual Windows desktop experience into a mobile companion on the go. Since the first Windows 8 models and especially the Microsoft Surface-like devices, Lenovo released a couple of nice options which are serious alternatives to the Surface. Lenovo MII X3, or more popular as Mix, already has its third release. Now more powerful, offering high screen resolution and nice combo of keyboard and touchpad and all of that offered at very attractive price. Mix 3 is a 10.1 inch device with a gorgeous IPS screen and high pixel density due to the fantastic for this size 1920 by 1200 pixels resolution. Thanks to that we have very very detailed picture, pure pleasure for the eye even if you are not just having fun but working on the go as well. The only problem here is the horrible screen reflections. Being not just outside but in a pretty bright room is enough to get plenty of them. If that's not an issue to you then you will definitely like the viewing experience of the tablet. Its shape is a bit strange though, thin on one side and thicker on the other, mainly because of the keyboard connectors. I wouldn't say it's awkward, but unusual indeed. However, the plastic it is made of does not look cheap. Well, it doesn't look expensive either. But after all, this is a mid-price Windows device, so definitely acceptable in terms of construction and build quality. No nasty fingerprints or unwanted bending on the backside panel. When talking about the keyboard, situation is something different. It is made of averagely thick rubberized material, giving you absolutely lovely feel to the cover and providing some level of protection as well. When flipped back, it turns into a nice tablet stand, all well set, holding the tablet firm in place. Lots of magnets are used here for the keyboard cover, connectors and tablet stand as well. The keyboard and typing experience is far from the legendary Lenovo ThinkPad keyboards, but still quite good in combination with the touchpad. I had some issues with my left control key which appeared faulty and stayed firmly pressed for quite some time but I guess Lenovo warranty support will easily replace such units. Windows desktop experience has always been a concern for all tablet users but since the launch of the new Atom quad-core processors its performance has increased a lot. Together with the 2GB of RAM and Intel HD graphics, the device runs pretty smooth and fluent, despite the high screen resolution. I had some fun with mobile games, but in terms of mobile gaming experience, I would probably recommend some powerful Android devices. It is not that impossible to game on Windows, but still, some of the most attractive mobile games are available for Android and iOS devices. Battery is a bit weak. Well. It's not bad, not bad at all, and will probably last more than 4 or 5 hours of browsing the web, but when connected to the keyboard it drains much faster, so be aware of that one. Mix 3 is more likely to fit into the working and communicating kind of people. It comes with one year of free subscription for Office 365 and using the micro HDMI port you can easily turn it into a mobile desktop device, especially if you don't need some powerful, noisy and big PC on your desk. You probably know that half of your 32GB flash memory will be used by the OS, so be prepared to use the SD card slot. However, this tablet or hybrid device is more than well balanced offer. Nice looking, powerful enough not to disappoint you and practical one indeed. The only thing I wish it had is a standard USB port. One of the tablet size clearly looks capable of housing it, but I guess I have to be less harsh with this Lenovo Mix tablet. It is still one of the best for its price, thanks for watching. Subscribe and visit laptopmedia.com for more tech reviews. Bye.